This is the Holden Commodore SSV Redline. It's a pretty excellent car by most measures. Powerful too, it's got a 270 kilowatt, six litre V8 engine. But is that enough? The guys from Walk and Talk Performance say, no. Now, Walk and Short don't actually build cars, they enhance them. So these two characters started life as a standard Holden Commodore SS and an HSV Club Sport R8. And they both feature Walk and Short's latest and most powerful upgrade, the Walk and Short Racing Limited Edition Supercharger Package. Combined, they're outputting over a megawatt of power and close to 2,000 newton meters of torque. So we're here today under control conditions at the Driver Education Centre in Shepparton to put both cars to the test. We've got some cones, we've got a V-Box, we've got a standard SS to use as a baseline. Now, I've already shotgunned the big boy 6.2 litre R8, which means I will take the SS. First, each car will tackle a simple motor carnet course, made up of a standing start, a couple of hairpin turns, a short straight, a sweeper, a basic slalom, two more hairpins, and finally into a coned off garage. First up, James in the Walkinshaw SS. Off the line, the first thing you notice is that noise. Something that the standard Commodore really is lacking a little bit. But the power is just so easy. You can wind it on as much as you like and the car responds. It's actually really easy to drive fast. Now this is something I've been driving around all week. To the shops, drop the kids off at school, through the supermarket car park and back around to home. And we're done. So an HSV Club Sport R8 with more power and more torque than a Lamborghini Aventador. Here goes nothing. That is a little bit ridiculous because there is just tons of power there. Any little poke of the right foot in the right scenario and it just takes off and it goes properly quickly. I would look down but I feel like that's not the best move to do. That noise out the back is amazing. You've got blow whistle coming from the front. Doesn't mind a change of direction either. But angles like that are what it's all about most of the time. With the twisty stuff out of the way, it was time to move on to the classic straight line test. The all important 0 to 100. So with me now is General Manager of Walk and Shore Performance, Tony Harris. Now Tony, we have thrown everything we can at these cars today and they haven't skipped a beat. It's not just a bolt-on supercharger kit, is it? It's not just things that you throw on a car to make it go faster. There's a lot of engineering that goes into these components or these packages um, from behind the scenes. Literally thousands of hours and thousands of components to get this right. One of the things that's uh, it's new to this kit is the camshaft upgrade with warranty. There's a camshaft upgrade, there's a supercharger part of the package, but I guess it's really the camshaft component that we're the most proud of because it is an industry first to have a warrantable camshaft upgrade in a performance package like this. Now I guess for us too, the, the best way to look at these is not just for new cars. If I've got a VE SS Commodore, it should fit up correctly? Absolutely. Anything with a 6 litre or 6.2 litre engine can have one of these packages fitted to it. Even a wagon? Even a wagon. Excellent. Even a family wagon. Well, they're well built, they're well engineered, they're heaps of fun. Still plenty of daylight left. Uh, what do you reckon we go out for a few more laps? You guys look like you know what you're doing. Excellent. Where's Dave? Two steps ahead of you, Wardy.
but we've asked the guys from Walkinshaw Performance, and well, they beg to differ.